Kia ora and welcome to this IT training tutorial video introducing styles. If you open a document in Word and just start typing, before you even do anything to the formatting, a special set of text and paragraph formatting is already being applied. This set of formatting is called Normal, and it's different for different versions of Word. In Word 2013 on the PC, for example, Normal means Calibri, it's 11 points tall, it's left aligned, and if I click inside of the paragraph area, I can see there's a 10 point space at the end of every paragraph and 1.15 spaces inside of the paragraph instead of single spaced. So when we just open up Word out of the box, this is the way our paragraphs will look. You can always go in and set your own paragraph and font formatting. So you could always select a paragraph and do whatever you like to it. And I'll just go in here and change the spacing, for example, and perhaps go in as well and put some more space afterward. But I've done nothing to the basic settings of normal. All I've done is kind of add some bells and whistles. The problem with putting extra formatting on top of normal is it's really hard to keep track of what you've done. Everything, no matter what you do to it, and I'll just go in here and make some crazy changes there too, everything is still just normal. That's normal. This one's normal. So I have no way of knowing how these should be different. So instead, what we'll do in these videos is we'll look at how we could modify normal so that all of our body paragraphs look the same, and we'll apply and modify the heading style so that they'll look the way you want them to look as well. Besides normal, there are many other built-in styles that are really useful for a thesis, such as those heading styles and perhaps a quote style for your paragraphs. Heading styles will add a lot of built-in features like setting a bigger font, adding more space before and after the heading, and showing up in the document navigation pane and table of contents. I'll just bring one in that's got some heading styles already in it, and you can just see how those have been done. And if I bring up the navigation pane, you can see there are all of my headings easily mapped out here so I can find my way through the document very easily. And there's nothing to stop me from changing the color of these to something that I might like. But if I go in here and put in a new heading, for example, no matter what I do, it's automatically going to cor correct the numbering so that that is taken care of as we go through. So notice how that's been done by using the heading styles. We can apply styles and modify any of them to look the way we like. We can modify the headings and we can modify normal. And if you want to add more formatting in an individual case, you can still always do that. There's nothing to stop you from setting that any way you'd like. So in the next few videos, we'll cover how you modify normal and how you apply heading styles and modify those, and then how you can store all those modifications so you can use them again in other documents. Styles are very powerful, so you should absolutely harness them for your thesis. They're going to save you loads of time and keep everything looking effortlessly consistent. So that concludes this introduction to styles. Thank you for your attention. Kia ora.